where does the idea come from to step away from the mic and step behind it? Boy, you know, somebody was really looking out for me because um, I had always wanted to direct, to be the conductor, you know, and I was watching all these directors working with Gordon Hunt and Jenny McSwain and uh, Andrea Romano and, you know, I'd worked with all of them and I thought, you know what, I can do that. And I, I um, in between my gigs, they say uh, people who teach don't work, people who work don't teach, that isn't true. Uh, working actors in LA d did teach and I started teaching uh, voiceovers in between some of my gigs, I loved it. And I wrote a book called Word of Mouth, all about, um, how about that voice? All about voiceovers and uh, in fact, somebody had the book uh, here at the convention and I signed it for him. But I thought, you know what, I want to direct. And I begged every, every producer in town. I said, please, let, give me a chance. Let me direct. And they all went, no, you just stay doing voiceovers. You're great with that. And, you know, we're covered. We're okay. And finally, a guy named Fred Wolf called me up. And he said, okay, Susie, I hear you want to direct. I went, more than anything. He said, well, I've got a little show. It's only five episodes. And every other director has turned it down. So I'm asking you if you want to do it. I'm going to pay this amount of money. I said, fine, I'll take it. What's it called? And it was a little show called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> And that was the first time that I ever directed. And, you know, that was, um, you know, Townsend Coleman and Rob Paulson and James Avery and Peter Renaday and uh, Renee Jacobs. And I had worked behind the glass with them for so many years. And so now I'm in front of the glass. And it was a wonderful experience. And I was good at it. Uh, I, I, I was good at it, you know? And it turned into years and years and years of doing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles.